Alan Miles here. This is part two of the simple subtractive synthesizer. This uh, part of uh, the tutorial, we're going to add a filter and then an envelope to control that filter. The filter brings the subtractive element to this synthesis type because we can use the filter to cut out or subtract particular frequencies. Let's get on. So I'm going to right click. I'm using a macro this time something that's already built for us, building blocks, filters, four, par, four pole filter. So right click macro, building blocks, filters, four pole filter. And there it is, you see it appear on the panel up here, select your spanner icon and move things around, turn that off. And so what we want to do is route the oscillator through the filter and then back out into the mixer again. So let's take the output of the four pole filter, plug it into the input of the stereo mixer and the output of the oscillator to the input of the filter. Now that fi filter will work. On this filter it's got a couple of uh, module or functions that I'll explain. Keyboard tr tracking. Now this tracks the keyboard and opens the filter or closes the filter where to wherever you are on the keyboard. It's trying to emulate real acoustic instruments. The higher the pitch you go up on any instrument, the brighter it gets. And that's what that keyboard tracking is trying to do. And to get that working, I'm going to take the output of the note pitch. I'm going to connect it to the P, the pitch input of the filter. Look at that, the note pitch goes to the P of the filter. And now you'll see as you play higher up the keyboard and lower the keyboard, it shuts the filter. So that's trying to emulate a real acoustic event keyboard tracking. Now if I bring it up to two, it's called excessive keyboard tracking. It opens and closes the filter quite excessively. One is normal keyboard tracking and obviously zero is no keyboard tracking. So let's put some sustain on the amp envelope so we can... Uh... So look at the resonance. The resonance boosts the frequency at the cutoff point and it creates a sharper sound because it's emphasizing the frequency and as you move the cutoff you'll see that move with the cutoff, so it boosts the frequency at the cutoff point, it creates a sharp ringing sort of sound. Obviously, you can boost it too much sometimes. And uh, there you go, let's put a keyboard tracking on. This mod mount doesn't work yet because we're not modulating the filter. So now we're going to add another envelope, exactly like this amp envelope, but we're going to use it to control the filter. So we already made this amp envelope previously, so I'm going to select it, do command C for copying and the command V for pasting. Whilst it's selected, go over to the inspector and just call this filter envelope or filter env. There you go, it's appeared on here you see when we created it. Let's put it underneath the filter for now. So it's got the same functions as the amp envelope and what we're going to do is we're going to take the output of that and put it into the four pole filter, the pitch modulation. Now we can't, notice we can't do that look because we're trying to connect an audio signal to an event input. You'll notice that there's black um, ins and outs and these are audio signals and there's red ins and outs and these are events, just information like MIDI or something like that. So um, we've got the filter here and it's got an audio output, a filter envelope. So I'm going to right click built-in module auxiliary a to E. 
So I'm going to get up a little module that turns an audio signal into an event signal. So I can connect it to that pitch modulation. So right click, built in module, auxiliary, A to E. And you'll see it appears like that. And that's got a black input and a red output. So I can take that out and then connect that to the PM, the pitch modulation of that filter. Now look at those ins and outs carefully. That's going into the pitch modulation. The notes pitch, it's going into the pitch there. So the filter envelope, and now all we need to do is uh, we want the, um, the gate. Let's trigger that. And now, now this envelope here, a long time to enter and the um, the modulation amount so I needed to put that up now this envelope controls the filter this envelope controls the amplitude so I'm subtracting frequencies but I'm using the filter envelope to do it And uh, you'll notice a positive amount modulate on the mod amount 100. Notice it opens the filter from the starting point, which is here. But if we go to the minus, the negative number, it will close the filter from the starting point. So you can start with it open. And a positive amount. So start with it slightly closed so it opens. Make it open longer, longer attack. Negative number, have it open. Closes. So now we've got a subtractive synthesizer that's got one multi-wave oscillator, an amp envelope, an overall level, a four pole filter, and a filter envelope. So if we look at this filter, if we double click and go inside that filter here, we'll see that it's got a switch. And that's the switch modes here, but it has got some other um, outputs on this filter that we can connect. So I'm gonna select those. I'm just gonna select those cables, backspace to delete them. Whilst that switch is selected, go over to the inspector, function and make the minimum number of ports six and I'm going to match up those. So we've got a high pass filter there, double click HP2. Now when you see two pole filter, four pole filter, eight pole filter, that means the cutoff, the steepness of the cutoff. So um, a, a four pole filter would be a steeper cutoff than a two pole filter. The poles stand for six decibels. So if you've got a two pole filter, the cutoff will cut the frequencies off by 12 decibels per octave. Get this connected. Band pass two pole, low pass two pole, band pass four pole, it's a steeper cutoff. Band pass low four pole and low pass four pole. So let's connect those. Ba dang. They all connected correctly. And now look at this mode here. You've got all those functions that have appeared now over here. Let's select that mode, go over to the inspector, view, and let's make this a menu instead of instead of one of those. So you've got a couple of options there. 
menu, mode. Now I can have high pass filter, band pass. Listen to the difference between the low pass two pole and the low pass four. The low pass four has got a slightly steeper cut off. So there you go, your uh, simple subtractive synthesizer. That's part two of this tutorial. My name is Alan Miles. I'll see you later.